Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q4 of the weekly contest 383. Uh, ooh, what am I doing? Minimum time to reword word to initial state 2. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Let me refresh to see how many people have gotten it. Not a lot of people. But yeah, uh, it turns out, I mean, I, I don't know. I think this problem is a little bit silly, to be frank. Um, is it even worth being on an interview? I don't know, because this is like, like if you, if, you, if you know it, you'll get it in like very quickly. If you don't know it, you may never get it. So that's why this is a bad problem, um, right, for an interview. Um, and it's not even like this is a fundamental thing, but this is, um, yeah, we'll go over it real quick. But the idea here, uh, I don't even know that I have a great thing to tell you about this. And I'm assuming that by now uh, you watched the Q2 video, right? Um, but I'll go over it very briefly. Um, so the key observation about this one is that you don't need to know, um, like if you do one operation of k, you don't need to know what to fill it with. So let's say k is equal to 3, then here we don't need to know um, what to fill the suffix with. We can re uh, fill them with wildcards. And with the wildcards, because then you'd be like, oh, if everything matches, then we can assume they match because we'll, we can pick whatever they want it to be, right? So that means that now we've reduced the problem of, okay, so how do we calculate, um, like, is this suffix equal to the beginning, right? That's basically the idea, right? And, uh, and it turns out in a really crappy problem kind of way, there is one algo, uh, algorithm, uh, algorithm, algo algorithm that is precisely for this. It is called a Z algorithm, Z algorithm, if you will. Um, and you could Google for it. Uh, let me find a quick link real quick um, to kind of ha have an explanation for this. This is my recommended link. Um, to be honest, I kind of know this because it keeps coming up, but I don't know it like intimately in terms of like the proofs and stuff like that. Um, so I just kind of copy and paste implementation. <laughs> uh, but basically th that's like the silly part is for this problem is that that's basically the like 98% of the problem. So if you don't know it, you're not going to know it. Um, and that's pretty much the idea. Um, and Z algorithm, just to kind of give you a little bit more, is that um, for each index i, it gives the longest common prefix um, starting at i, right? So that means that for here, so, oh, let me look back a little. So that means that for this problem and this, uh, for this input, and it doesn't matter about a k, a is going to be uh, 0 just by notation, b is 0, duh, 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 b, but then a is going to be, um, I think in this case it's actually 3, because it's a, b, c is equal to a, I think this is actually usually, yeah. Uh, and then b, of course, is 0, c is Zero and D is zero, right? Is that right? Hmm. I think that's right. Let me, let me check that real quick. <laughs> that that. Yeah. Okay. It is right. It's just that this is a really poor example. That's why I'm like, huh. Maybe I should have done a little bit better <laughs> with an example because this is just not a very representative. But yeah. So in this case, now you have zero. You have zero. This is a a. So it has one. C. This is zero. A, B, A, so this is 3, B, A is 0, and A is equal to 1. Uh, and that's pretty much it as a black box. And then now you can use this by just, you know, like if if the index here matches the rest of the string to the beginning, and that's just based off this number, then you have a match. And that's pretty much the idea behind this one. Uh, like I said, this Z, Z algorithm is kind of a black box here. So, um, and this is from... This link, just Google Z, uh, Z algorithm or Z algorithm and you, or Z function maybe, and you'll find it, um, you know, on the CP competitive page. Like I said, if you're studying for an interview, I wouldn't care about this at all, to be frank. It's just not worth it. But yeah, and, and then here is the loop, you know, for I is equal from K to, and then we increment the count. If this is equal to the rest of the thing, we return count. And then, yeah, and then that's it. 
Uh, I actually still have had a one wrong answer on this and it took me a while because I don't know why. I, I copy and paste this, but I, instead of kind of just using C++, I slowly line by line c convert this to Python, which took some time. You can watch it live next. I don't know why I did that during the contest. I need to have this in Python anyway. Uh, and also I had a typo in, in reading. I thought this, for some reason, I thought this was a one instead of an L. And that basically gave me the one wrong answer and that was a disaster. But otherwise, this is pretty much it. It's pretty much plug and play. It's pretty much how everyone got, um, I imagine how everyone got the high scores pretty quickly, unless there's another way. And there is the other way. The other way is, oh, what the, oh, maybe I refreshed it, that's why. Um, the other way is, uh, you may recognize this code if you, what the, if you look at my Q2, but this is the same code. This is going to be n, n squared, uh, n squared time, O of n space. But in Q4, it passes. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I didn't do this during the contest. I found out about this afterwards. Um, you may wonder why, you know, it's n squared. The short answer is that, um, String functions in Python is very efficient um, because it is implemented in C. And not only is it implemented in C, though that is enough, to be honest, because um, the difference in compiled and uh, and interpreted is just tremendous. Um, but that's one. The other thing is that it actually does chunk, um, it does uh, comparison by memory chunks instead of like character by character, I believe. So that makes it even... Um, faster though maybe not as much but yeah uh i imagine some people did it this way too but i did not that would have saved me some time but yeah uh this is why i think this contest is kind of a little bit uh eh. and this problem especially this problem is not a 10 minute problem but or 10 points problem because that's two parts so i don't know but yeah uh if you want to learn about more z algorithm you can check that out i'm not gonna go over it because I don't know it that well. It's not very useful. I don't consider it useful. It just is one of those things. So yeah. Let me know what you think. I, I don't, I, I, sorry about this explanation. I actually don't usually copy and paste code, especially code that I didn't write, but, uh, and I did try to spend like a minute or two trying to think of another way of doing it, but this is just one of those problems. And that's, this is why I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. And of course, you could watch me solve it live next, which is how I made the silly mistakes. And it's maybe fun to watch. Let me know. But yeah, now. That is so dumb, Larry. That is a really too... Okay. Too much premature optimization. But, um, all right, let's see. Well, 92 people got it away. So, this is not a good contest for me then. Um, okay. Do the was it? I do it faster though. Here is that the Z, Z algorithm thing. I mean, I know it's a Z algorithm. I don't know how to do it though, so I have to Google it. But this is so silly. Translate this a little bit. I don't have this written.
I should maybe ask ChatGPT to do it for me, but oh well. Yeah, why am I doing this? It feels very silly. Instead of keeping out tapping. Use the same way with him, so Yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Okay. So you go to Three, two, four. Okay, that's not right. Oh, this isn't right. This is so the I is okay. Yeah, the rest of this. Oh, huh. Doesn't this four times? Did I mess this up? Am I returning here? Oh, man, I don't know how to code. I'm watching it to be honest as well. How? Oh, that's not right. Am I off by one? I am off by one, am I? This is the longest. Did I misunderstand Z algo? Maybe I did. I've element is equal to the greatest number of from the position either. So this is one. Is this one not right? Two is right. Why is this one? Am I misunderstanding this part?
Uh, I don't know C algorithm enough to debug it, to be honest. I guess it's one of those things to learn, but it's just silly. Uh, okay. Wait, what is this B? Maybe I'm misunderstanding the Z algorithm. Greatest number of guidance machine high tech. Hmm, this is wrong. My my code is wrong. For C algo, that's wrong. Okay, fine. I guess <sighs> maybe I should have done it in this language instead of converting it to Python. Um okay. Oh, that's not a one, that's an L. This is what happens when you uh try to black box it. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it's a very silly problem. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.